So we are in the original gym of the old Consolidated School. This gym was completed in 1924. This gym doubled as a lunchroom and a gym. That was how small Eden Prairie was, you know, back in the day. Students were housed in one-room schoolhouses. The students would go to those houses, and it all depend on where you lived in the small town at the time. Everybody in the community took great pride in their school, so some people didn't want to leave the one-room schools because they thought they were more private and personal, and they liked their teacher, and their kids walked to school in each of the four quadrants of Eden Prairie. And with the times changing, they started talking about it in 1916. And it took a while because of World War I, and they had to get bonds to build the new school and raise the money, and it was $100,000 to build the new consolidated school. The school begun in 23, finished and opened April 25th of 1924. It was a huge celebration in town with invitations. They had an afternoon luncheon and an evening program as well. They brought in dignitaries from around the state. It was truly considered the most beautiful school in Hennepin County. Suddenly you walk in this building and there's electricity, which you do not have at home. And there was running water, there were flushing toilets, drinking fountains, a huge state-of-the-art gym to play in with no pillars holding up the ceiling. Starting in 1928, they started the first bus service. They added another bus, you know, in the 40s, another in the 50s, and as time went on, they kept adding. The first ones were constructed mostly of wood and you know they had seats that were cloth and the bus drivers were also the custodians of the school and sometimes the teachers. <laughs> sometimes uh, the superintendent was a bus driver and a custodian as well as being a superintendent. The library itself was also Hennepin Library. So along with being a school library, it was also Hennepin's library. So it was considered an incredible space. Therefore, the town used it as well it's where all of the town hall meetings were held. Uh, it's where Friday night everyone came together to watch movies. So they had, you know, curtains that pulled across in the gymnasium. The stage was used for our choir concerts, our drama um, events. Back in the day, performing on this tiny stage compared to what we have now, it, it, it just, it's crazy to think that that's how small we were back then and now we're just this huge community. 1929, Al Pica created the first Eden Prairie logo when he was a senior in high school. He was in history class, and they said, hey, we're looking for a logo to represent our team. And he just came up with the sketch of the EP logo while he was sitting there in class, and that became our logo. Early as 1925, we became the Eagles and we've stayed the Eagles, where um, there were funny names, you know, around the, the different teams that we were playing at the time. Um, and they've all changed, and we've never had to change. We've always been the Eagles. And I think it's pretty amazing that in 1934, we had a girls basketball team. Uh, they were wearing their regular shoes in the gym because they couldn't afford tennis shoes at the time and basketball was really our, our sport. And so homecoming was basketball. Our population was growing. Up until like the late 50s, all the grades were still housed in this building, so one through 12, and eventually we decided we were gonna build the middle school. At the time it was the second high school, so we built that. This building became known as Eden Prairie Elementary School. It house grades one through six. In 1965, Prairie View was built, making that the first official, brand new standalone elementary school in our town. Forest Hills was constructed with Bob Hallett at the helm, and then Eden Lake was constructed, the place I went to for elementary school, and Bob Hallett was at the helm of that as well. And then two years after that, Cedar Ridge was constructed. Oak Point was opened. Eagle Heights was founded and it started off in this building and eventually it moved to Oak Point in 2011 because Oak Point at that, up until that point was just an intermediate school for grades five and six. Eden Prairie High School has just sort of become this huge 
place of all these different cultures. When they first built it, everybody thought it looked like a fortress because it was all the same, like the brick like was all the same color. It just kind of looked like one cubing you know, building. Originally, we were supposed to have two high schools based on our um, 19, late 60s, early 70s, like Eden Prairie Growth and Development Plan. Jerry McCoy, superintendent in 1980, made the decision, first of all, to keep the old consolidated school and turn it into the administration building. I really respect that decision. And then to build the one big school where everyone would be together. And I think that was really a great idea. There's no town rivalry, you know, over who goes to what school. Truly, Eden Prairie was a prairie. And we were basically a smaller school with um, a lot of dreams. They welcomed new teachers by giving us a ride on a fire engine throughout town with hordes of people saying, welcome to Eden Prairie. We hope you're going to like it here. I started a gymnastics club in the gym uh, in the administration building downstairs. So I found a home here both with my love of gymnastics and love of teaching English. I have found my calling here and have found that even though the school has so many more students, we have a diversity that we didn't have earlier and an openness and a welcoming that opens up one's ideas of what builds community. And now Eden Prairie has really become this huge, diverse school you know, district where everybody can share their stories and of where they came from, and I just think that's really cool. I would hope the great-grandchildren of my current students would be able to still uh, speak about and pay attention to ways that we can bridge differences. One of the most important things that we can hope in the years to come. That we're still, we still care about connection and belonging, more important than anything else at all. There was one other thing that I wanted to read in here. Eden Prairie's rapid progress in education shows the way people are willing to pay heavy taxes to give their children a good chance in life and this is gained through a good education. And Eden Prairie continues with that motto to this day.